Really? Wow. All right. Welcome back to JR Vids. Today we got the new Hammer Infamous and Barco's gonna be tossing that up against the Obsession Solid. The Infamous is in the upper mid price category in the same range as the Black Widow. This is a symmetric solid with a higher RG, meaning that this core is gonna push a little bit further down the lane and it's got a higher differential, which means it's gonna to wanna to kick around the corner a little bit more. Bit of a different shape, something more unique and something you don't see in the Hammer line. The cover stock on the Infamous is NV Solid. The cover stock on the Obsession Solid is NV Solid CFI, carbon infused. The Obsession Solid has a bigger, stronger, earlier core and a slightly stronger cover stock. The Infamous will get down the lane or should get down the lane a little bit further. I'm hoping that these two will complement each other and look really great in this video. The similarities in cover stock are why we picked the Obsession Solid to be compared against the Infamous, but a totally different cores. We're gonna take those out on 41 foot beaten paths today and we'll see what Bark was got. Sending out to Barks on the lanes. Hey guys, Barks is back once again. Today we have the brand new Hammer Infamous. So the core shape on this Infamous is a little bit unique. It kind of looks like a fire hydrant. So this ball is very high RG. It's high differential. High RG typically means balls that want to roll a little bit later, but we have a strong cover stock. So I'm not sure exactly what this ball is going to do, but there's only one way to find out. And that's take it on the lanes. I'll probably start where I played with the Obsession Tour in the last video and kind of move around based on the ball reaction, but we're on a beaten path once again, 41 feet. Let's see how this ball performs. Yeah, you can tell that thing revs up pretty late. It wants to get down the lane a little bit longer than some of the other stuff I have in my bag, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's nice to have a symmetric solid with a little bit of teeth in our lineup again. We haven't had one for a while. Not really since like the sauce. It's been a while. I'm gonna move a couple right off of that one. Finish pretty high. I kind of like that shape. It's different. It's not something I've really seen in a ball that I've had. It's similar to the sauce, but not quite the same. I'm gonna camp there. I kind of like that line. I'll throw a little better shot though. Let's try that. Ooh. Okay, with these high RG balls, you don't want to throw too much gas. So they'll never see the they'll never see the friction. They'll shoot right through the spot. kind of chopped out the seven pin on that one. Wasn't convincing, but good enough. So I want to make a ball change. Let's make a ball change to the Obsession. So the cover stocks on these two balls are similar. They're both NV solid. Uh, the Obsession here has carbon fiber infused, whereas the Infamous? <laughs> whereas the Infamous does not. So it's gonna have a little less teeth, gonna hook a little bit more. Especially with it being asymmetric, I think it's just gonna corner a little bit harder and cover a few more boards. So let me play that same part of the lane I just struck with the Infamous. This might check up and go high, but let's find out. It didn't seem like more hook, but it was definitely earlier and more controllable. So of the two, I would say the Obsession's gonna be better on the fresh, and the Infamous a better option to go to later on kind of play the same part of the lane. I'm gonna move a couple right, because I trust this one to hook. Stand 25. Really? <laughs> really? That carbon fiber really lets it dig. I probably wouldn't have been a flat seven with the infamous, but somehow I left a, like a pocket four six. No luck on that one. Let's move another three right. That was a good shot, but I guess we're in the wrong part of the lane. All right, little light pocket 710 there. I think my hand is a little too much behind it. I'm gonna get my hand around it a bit more. It needs to finish a little harder. It's close. Good shot there. I mean, it is a lot of ball. To get that far into the pattern and have it finish hard is gonna be difficult. It doesn't quite finish the same way like an Obsession Tour Pearl does. And that ball's kind of meant for getting into the pattern and getting the ball to finish. This ball isn't great for that. Gonna move back a couple left because I think that was kind of the sweet spot for it. 
god. Eight pin. <laughs> Surprisingly snappy on that one. But you can really see how much further that ball gets down the lane and really stores energy well. Even for a big, strong, symmetric solid, it's a unique shape. All right, so I've talked at length about how this Infamous gives me a very unique ball motion. Is there a ball that you have now or a ball that you had in the past that gave you a, a ball motion that you'd never seen before? Let me know what you think in the comments. That's a pretty good shot. Let's wrap it up in the shop. All right, everyone, I'm back from the lanes. Let's talk a little bit about the Hammer Infamous. So like Brandon said in the intro, this is a higher RG bowling ball. It's one that wants to get further down the lane before it makes its motion. We certainly saw that today. I thought the cover stock being pretty strong, it's Envy solid. It's what we use in a high-end ball like the Obsession here. I thought it would kind of blend out the pattern a little bit better dig into the oil a bit earlier than it did. I saw a lot of length through the front and more than I was hoping for, especially in this center. Front parts of the lane can be really, really slick and you need a really strong cover stock with a lot of surface to get the ball rolling soon enough. It just got a little bit too far down the lane and saved too much energy. With a lot of motion on the back end and not really what I was hoping for. So comparing the Infamous here to the Obsession Solid, the expectation on the Obsession Solid, I thought it would be a little bit earlier and a little bit more hook overall, and it certainly was. It lived up to expectation. The Obsession Solid was definitely the right ball in the fresh. As I got further and further into the pattern, it started to get a little bit lazy down lane. It digs in really, really early. Playing a little bit further left with the Obsession Solid, uh, it started to hook a little bit too early and too much overall. As I got into the pattern, it wanted to just hook too early and ran out of gas. Playing a little bit further left of the Infamous, I didn't have to force the ball down the lane. I trusted it to make the corner from that spot. And as I got further right, same thing. I kept making the corner, kept getting through the front part of the lane really easily. I think a high RG ball like the Infamous here is better suited for a bowler with heavier roll and softer ball speed. So someone like Simu, as far as the people in our group. So bowlers that have kind of slower ball speed, they typically have a hard time getting the ball through the front part of the lane. And I had no issue today with the Infamous here. My ball speed, I tend to be pretty firm, so this may not be the best option for me. I think this ball would be a really good option if I was on, a, let's say, a wood lane surface or something with, with higher friction. Here at Lucky 9, we just don't have enough built in in the front part of the lane. It just becomes too long and too angular. So in conclusion, I think the Infamous here is going to be a very condition-specific ball for me but it could be really good in the right bowling center with a lot of friction. The Infamous here is gonna be really good with the right lane surface. Uh, we bowl on anvil lane here, which doesn't have a lot of friction built in, but an older synthetic surface or even wood lanes would really allow this ball to shine. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment below and let me know what ball do you have in your arsenal that gives you a very unique ball motion? Stay tuned for our next one where I'm back again reviewing the new Columbia 300 Power Torque. We haven't done a lot of Columbia reviews, so this will be a fun one.